my April glassy box and I have been waiting and waiting and waiting for the postman because I knew this month was going to be um, a special edition. So I've kind of seen what the box looks like and yes, this is what it looks like. So there we go, it's a different, um, as I said, limited edition, special edition kind of box. So it's Pearl Low for a glassy box. Now being 100% honest, I'm not very familiar with Pearl Low, but I'll open the box and see what it looks like. So again, just up close there it says Pearl Loaf for Glassy Box and it's all roses and different kinds of flowers. Okay, so first off inside is the leaflet. Um, I don't know if I want to look inside. I will. Um, okay, it tells you about Pearl Loaf. As far as I know, she is to do with fashion. Um, I won't go in into it too much, but basically, there we go. The normal kind of leaflet thing. Inside, this is what it looks like, so it's kind of more or less the same, except it has the white bow and the flowery kind of sticker instead. So here we go, opening it up. Oh, damn, I tore it. Okay, first up, I'm looking through my box, and what I thought I'd get is not in here. Damn. Oh. I'm really disappointed straight away. Okay, what I thought I was going to be getting was an Essie nail varnish, which is huge because it's definitely my favorite brand. They're really expensive as they are, like it's 10 euro a bottle or more for an Essie nail varnish. And I know some people got them and I didn't. I'm really disheartened now. Okay, we'll keep going, I'll show you what I got. First up is a Collagen Aloe Vera Hydro Mask. Um, I like trying out masks. Oh, this is actually one of those kind of, I think it's one of those actual, an actual mask that you put on as opposed to it being a mask that you apply liquid or something. So that is face mask. Next is Nip and Fab Mango Smoothie Dry Fix Body Butter. I've heard of these. Um, as I've said before, I'm not a huge body moisturizer. So yeah, nice enough. Nip, Nip and Fab is... Um, a fairly popular brand as far as I know, but I'm not hugely familiar with it. Um, so that's a body butter. Next is Sunsense Daily Face SPF Invisible Tint Finish. Um, haven't heard of this brand. It is broad spectrum protection and moisturizing sunscreen for the face and ne neck with a sheer tint for invisible matte finish. So basically it sounds like this is sun protection for your face, which I don't really need because I live in Ireland. We don't have sun. Um, SPF 50 which is good but again this is not a good pick for someone in Ireland um, not too impressed with that next is a Eve Rocher Nutritive, uh, Nutritive 24 hour comfort nourishing cream I'm not sure if this is for face or body apply every morning on perfectly cleansed skin so it's for your face um, moisturizer for your face I suppose it is and the last thing I got, the lid is actually off it. It is a Richard Ward Optimizer Style Reviver for normal to fine hair. Okay, so a hair product, I like seeing hair products. Um, okay, it doesn't say anything about it. It just says apply as desired to dry hair. Separate hair into sections and lifting each section lightly spray. Optimizer from roots to mid lengths. So holding, blah, blah, blah. so I suppose it's some sort of um, volumizer. It doesn't actually say what it is. Optimizer Style Reviver. And that's it. Oh my god, I'm so disappointed that I didn't get an Essie nail varnish. Nail varnish. Do you know what? I don't know. I should have st started by saying that I'm actually wondering if I will end my subscription because at the end of the day, £10 sounds good, but realistically, you're adding P and P on top of that, and when you convert to euro, it's actually turning out to be 16, 17 euro for a box every month. And as you know, I am actually don't have a job at the moment, so because I'm kind of disappointed with my box as well, I think I may be cancelling, unfortunately. Um, I'm just so disappointed that people got something so much better than I did. And it also annoys me that the people in the UK get their boxes so much more before Ireland do. Uh, really disappointing. Um, there's my unboxing. Sorry if, if this is a bit of a downer for you, but I just want to show my real thoughts and emotions while opening my box so the box is nice the products I'm really not wowed with at all so there you go hope you got something nice in your glassy box and um, I'll see you in my next video bye 
Okay, so I'm back. I just went on Twitter and Facebook and blogs to see what other people got in their boxes. And I'm very sad to say that a lot of people got Essie nail varnishes, as I thought was meant to be with these boxes. People also got sleek blushes, which is also amazing. Wait till you hear this. People got Illamasqua pencils. Illamasqua. That's, that's a high-end makeup brand. And people also got Model Co. Cheek and Lip Tints. And these are all... All four of them are all full size products and I didn't get one of them in mine so I'm really really upset now I'm not one to normally complain because I completely understand that glossy box is a big organization they have thousands of customers and not everyone is going to get the same but they've done this huge PR thing hinting and basically telling people that Essie was part of this month's box and as I said I know not everyone is going to get Essie but they've done this huge PR thing with Essie and I'm really disappointed that it wasn't in my box and even if they couldn't afford to give someone an Essie, not afford, but if they couldn't allocate an Essie, to, an Essie nail varnish to a box, I think putting something else in its place to, with like an equal value, not even value money wise, just an equal, like a, one of those higher end products like Illamasqua, I can't get over that, and Sleek. If they couldn't give an Essie nail varnish, one of those other products should have been in the box. And I'm really stern, I'm really adamant about this. I don't think it's fair at all. Um, I feel terrible complaining because, again, I, hu I do understand that not everyone's going to get the same stuff. But I'm really, really disappointed. And as I mentioned before, the thing about Ireland getting their boxes days and weeks after the UK is, again, unfair. I don't understand how they can't release the Irish boxes the day before because it takes two to three days to get to Ireland anyway so I don't understand why they can't release the Irish boxes to get to their customers the same day as the UK people. UK people seem to get their boxes obviously first and they seem to get the better products. It's like Ireland just kind of get whatever is left over. And I'm sure it's not the case, I'm just a bit bitter now today. But I'm really really disappointed that other people are getting numerous of these nicer products in their bo boxes and that me, I'm being selfish here, me, I didn't. I didn't get any of those nice um, makeup products or high-end brands in my box so I've made my decision and I am cancelling because I don't think it's fair and to be honest I don't think the money is worth it anymore um, even though I really miss getting like the boxes themselves are really really nice and as you can see you can probably see up here I have my boxes um, to store different products um, so I miss getting my boxes even something as small as that but I don't think it's worth it anymore for Ireland we're paying 17 euro and to be treated not really as fair as other people I'm not really going to have it so unfortunately glassy box I'm sorry to say I'm going to have to cancel my subscription because I don't think it's worth it anymore and I don't think everyone is being treated fairly and the boxes aren't personalised anymore the whole aim of the glass box at the start was that you fill out a questionnaire and it's as personalised as possible um, that's obviously not being done so unfortunately I'm unsubscribing let me know if you got what you got in your glassy box if you'll be unsubscribing if you're going to subscribe because you liked what I got um, of course everyone to each their own whatever but I'm done bye glassy box